फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी प्रजेंट हियर टूडे फॉर ओपनिंग दी न्यू बिल्डिंग ऑफ यूअर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल दैट यू हैव सेड अबाउट दिस न्यू यूनिवर्सिटी which is only 6 years old is commendable in many respects although you have not had adequate equipment and the necessary wear with all in the beginning these serious shortcomings did not discourage you in a right earnest you started the work one might feel sorry but i am sure no one will feel surprised to know that in its 7th year this university does not possess departments in subjects like sanskrit and english on the side of arts and physics chemistry anthropology and geology on the side of science i need not say much about the importance of the sanskrit language which besides having its own vast treasure house of knowledge is the mother of the present day indian languages of the north the study of english language and literature is also essential for a university student and for it is a language which many in our country have been cultivating for the last 200 years and which is recognized as a medium of international expression by virtue of its being the language of a number of countries equally important is the study of chemistry and physics which are in a way the basic sciences which go to form the foundations of all technical and scientific knowledge as for anthropology and geology these two subjects have special significance for your state inhabited as your state is by a number of tribal people speaking different tongues and having different customs and possibly belonging to different ethnic groups no other state in india provides such favorable conditions and opportunities for the study of anthropology as yours in respect of geology also i feel that its study should have special importance for the university of guwahati for the benefit of not only assam but the whole country assam is so rich in mineral wealth which is yet to be tapped and so far as the production of oil goes your state has its virtual monopoly in india i am glad you have not been discouraged by these shortcomings but you are endeavoring to create department in these subjects as early as possible i have not the least doubt that the government of india will on their part do 
all that is possible to enable you to do so i must congratulate you on maintaining high academic standards in your university it has been said in certain quarters that for the last few years some of our universities have relaxed their standards i cannot say how far it would be correct to say so but if there is that much truth in it this trend is to be deplored and discouraged because universities must always look ahead and after imparting education must of necessity be upright even strict in the matter of conferring degrees distinctions or honors you have done the right thing in sticking to this ideal from the very beginning i am one with you that in order to be fully useful to the people for whom a university serves it ought to be a teaching body i am glad that in your planning you have kept this point in view i hope the building for which you have been good enough to invite me to open today marks the beginning of your undertaking in that direction apart from imparting education which is after all the real aim of a university it will also help you to coordinate and centralize your academic activities what has particularly pleased me in the vice chancellor's address is his reference to the fact that your university is likely to provide a great meeting place for the different racial and linguistic groups inhabiting assam my own view is that a university besides being a seat of learning should also be a center of real cultural activity for the mixing of people professing different faiths speaking different tongues and having different customs and traditions no other place can be more suitable than a university this is because a university is singularly free from any kind of bias and the din and turmoil of politics it provides an ideal atmosphere for all people to come close together and understand each other i need hardly point out that you will be rendering a great service not only to your state but to the whole of india if you keep this objective before you you will have rendered a great service to the nation if by sticking to your resolve you succeed in bringing all these groups together by providing them equal opportunities thereby promoting mutual understanding and the good of all i am thankful 
to the vice chancellor for having invited me to open this building and for giving me an opportunity to address you today i wish your university a bright future and hope it will succeed in tiding over the difficulties and will be counted as one of india's great seats of learning and education stop